Hey people, it is Friday, November the 18th. Time is 9.40 in the evening, and it's currently 2 degrees Celsius here in Vancouver, British Columbia. We're currently walking along West 4th Avenue in the Kitsilano neighborhood. And we're walking back into downtown Vancouver, and when I say we, I'm referring to Megan and myself. And we just arrived in Vancouver earlier today. We came from Edmonton, where we spent a few days. And we'll be spending the next four days here in Vancouver. And we were just at my sister's house, who lives in the Kitsilano neighborhood. Went for dinner at her house. And now we're walking back to our downtown hotel on Burrard Street. So I thought I would record the walk from the Kitsilano neighborhood back into downtown Vancouver. And since I'm not overly familiar with all the local landmarks and places of interest, I thought I would just walk along and record and whatever Megan and I happen to decide to comment on, we'll comment on. And if we just want to walk silently, we'll just walk silently. silently. <laughs> so we'll just, see what us. we'll just see what there is to see. That's right. So we're going to be heading east here to Burrard Street and then we'll be going north on Burrard Street into downtown. And this is the main street of the Kitsilano neighborhood where most of the more interesting shops and restaurants are. Broadway is another street to the north of here or to the south of here I should say. That is also a commercial street but I have it on good authority that West 4th Street is the superior street to experience the vibe of Kitsilano. I'm liking it so far. <laughs> and it is rather charming. It is. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? You know that really nice stretch of road down Young Street between like Lawrence and Eglinton? And how you have all those cute little shops there and little restaurants and stuff? Yeah. It reminds me of that neighborhood. Oh yeah. I'm getting like Young and Lawrence vibes. And a bit later on, we'll be walking over the Burrard Street Bridge, which will provide some awesome views of downtown Vancouver. Yeah, we checked it out on the way out here, yeah. and it is spectacular. Yeah. Especially at night with all the lights, and you can see it. It's just really cool. Mm. I haven't been to Kitsilano since 2007. Yeah. Last time I was out here. Well, last time I was in Vancouver, I did spend some time here in this very neighborhood, but that was in 1994. So, long time ago. Long time ago, yeah. And they still have trolley buses here. I was just telling Megan earlier that Toronto used to have trolley buses, and they they got rid of them in the 1990s. It's jogging like a very faint memory. So I think I think I remember the Toronto trolley buses from when I was really little. Yeah. But we still have full-fledged trolleys, at least, in Vancouver, <laughs> if you want to call them that. Streetcars, as we usually call them. Vancouver doesn't have streetcars. They don't have streetcars? No, they just have their rapid transit system. Oh, interesting. And the buses. I noticed that even though it is a cute little neighborhood main street, the street is still pretty wide and they have parking on both sides of the street in yeah. addition to the four lanes of traffic. Well, it's like Young Street. It's like, you know, like almost like Young and Lawrence. I think Young Street, though, one of the lanes is also a parking lane. There's oh. not also, like, this still has four complete lanes of traffic plus. 
parking lanes on either side too. Oh, right. 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 And downtown Young Street, you can't park on the street. No. No. And Vancouver is quite a bit hillier <laughs> than we're used to. Yeah. Yeah. We were just commenting on that earlier, like, oh, there's we quite just a few hills that we came up a hill to get to this starting point of the video, and now we're going back down a hill here again. <laughs> well, it makes sense. Like the mountains yeah. are so close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it definitely like it makes sense. It wouldn't be on totally flat ground. Right. Kind of like San Francisco with all the hills. Yeah. Have the street blocked off to traffic here. Yeah, that's cool with the tables. Like a little extra padding. Margaritas. Yum. Yeah, this is definitely a better way than the way we came. Yeah. When we were walking to my sister's, we took Broadway which is, as I mentioned earlier, also a commercial street, but it's not quite as interesting as this one here, West 4th Street. Yeah, there's a lot more to see on the street. Yeah. There's a freshie. Oh yeah. That's what we had for dinner last night. What? Yeah. That's a freshie. It's weird that like last night we were eating dinner at the West Edmonton Mall. Yeah, we were in Edmonton, <laughs> Alberta like 24 hours here. ago. Yeah. That's so weird. <laughs>
can start to see the skyline a little bit. Yeah, I've been kind of keeping an eye out. I only have pies for you. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds inviting. Let's go have a pie. The pie hole. I love that. That's excellent. Stuff your pie hole. <laughs> okay. Don't need to tell me twice. One thing I do know about Kitsilano is in the 1960s, when the hippie movement was really becoming a big factor, Kitsilano was the hippie neighborhood of Vancouver. Really? Yeah. Not commercial. Nope, Kitsilano. Well, you know I didn't know about that. Because, like, isn't Commercial Drive the hippie place now? Well, it's the hipster place, right? Not quite the same as hippie. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. When I was there, it seemed very hippie-ish. Yeah, well, maybe now it is. But in the 60s, this was hippie central. Just like Yorkville in Toronto was hippie central. Yeah, that blows yeah. my mind. Yeah. Yorkville was ever like a hippie town. Yep. Weird. And here's Burrard Street already. So let's go to the other side. I guess we'll just cross here then cross again. Let's cross here too and then we'll cross. Gotcha. So that's it for West 4th Street, the main street of Kitsilano. Now we're going to be heading north on Burrard Street into downtown Vancouver. Just going to cross over to the other side. Yeah, there's the Ferrari. Oh, Ferrari dealership. Look at that thing. Oh, man. It's quite the car. It almost looks like it can turn into like a robot or something, know. you know? <laughs> I mean, it looks like a transformer. Yeah, it's a transformer in mid-transformation. Like Optimus Prime is just going to leap out of that car and save yeah. us all. Yep. Another one. They're all stacked up here. <laughs> you should make that the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> the Optimus Prime? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just call it the Optimus Prime walk. <laughs> This is like car dealership central here for luxury cars. Yeah. Kind of similar to the uh, 
Dundas Street East and Don Valley Parkway area in yeah, Toronto where all those yeah, big that's right. car dealerships are with the luxury vehicles. Yep. Another dealership here, Jaguar. sort of armory or something, perhaps? Yeah, the Seaforth Armory. There we go, Seaforth Armory. Home of the Seaforth Because armory buildings always have that similar look, sort of like a castle-like yeah. look to them, right? Like a 16th century fortress. Yeah. That's quite the crest up there. Oh yeah. <laughs> place to take historical costume photos. Yeah. <laughs> How old is Vancouver as a city? It dates from the late 19th century, I think. Really? Yeah. That young? Yeah. Wow. Like as a size, you know, when it became a town and all that sort of thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like Toronto was already a decent sized city by the turn of the 20th century. Yeah, it was already yeah. bustling. I guess it just took a long time for people to get all the way out here. Right. I think Victoria is actually older than Vancouver, like as a sizable settlement. Really? I think so, yeah. Wow. Victoria is really pretty. I've never been there, but I was looking at pictures of it because my sister was thinking of moving there. And downtown Victoria is like, like jaw to the floor stunning. Yeah. Like really old buildings painted different colors, like just beautiful. Yeah, it's a very, very charming little city. Sort of like Kingston, Ontario, but bigger. If if yeah, if, if Kingston yeah. was like, say three three or four times the size, yeah. then that would be like no, Victoria. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I totally get Kingston vibes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because Kingston was once the capital city of Canada. Was it? Of Upper Canada, right? And it has the military presence also, like yeah, Fort Henry. Fort, yeah, Fort Henry. And Victoria also has yeah. its capital city status. And it has a military presence also. And there are also education centers. Yeah. Kingston has its prisons though. Yes. That kind of makes it stand out on its own. <laughs> yeah, the high security. Yeah. That's where they put the real bad guys. <laughs> yeah. And you can see off in the distance the skyline coming into view. And we're just coming up onto the Burrard Street Bridge. Look at the lights on the top of the bridge there. It looks like fire. Yeah. That's so cool. It's like flickering flames. So we're going to pass over English Bay. Downtown Vancouver sits on a peninsula.
The walk back seemed to go by a lot quicker than the walk there. Yeah, I was just yeah. thinking that. <laughs> yeah. like, that's always the case though. Whenever you go somewhere, the way back always seems a lot faster. Yeah. For whatever reason. Because it's about an hour walk from my sister's house to the hotel. But I started the video after we'd been walking for about 15 minutes. Yeah, and we're like almost at the hotel. Like, we didn't fence across the bridge. Just like maybe a block or two. Yeah, another 15 minutes or so we'll be at the hotel. Yeah. And then I'm going to keep the video going a bit once we reach the hotel. So Megan's going to leave us then and head inside, but I'll just keep the video going further down Burrard Street just to get a better look at the extent of the street into downtown. Yeah, Megan, the young 30-something, does not have as much stamina as Ken does. <laughs> <laughs> Tapped out. <laughs> So right now, just what we can see here is a little bit reminiscent of walking over the Bloor Viaduct towards downtown Toronto. It is a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, crossing the Don Valley Parkway. Right? Yeah. Just the, in Toronto, the buildings are much taller than they are here in Vancouver. Although there are some fairly tall buildings. tall buildings in Vancouver, don't get me wrong, but nothing like approaching the height of the tallest Toronto buildings. Over there, you can see all the lights of the apartment buildings. Look, you can see lights going way up into the hills. Yeah, I think that's West Vancouver way over there. Really? All those lights going up into the hills. That's a separate city called West Vancouver, not to be oh. confused with the West End or the West Side. Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> West Vancouver is its own separate thing. So East Vancouver is that Yeah, this is that's looking far. looking east over here. So where would commercial drive be? It's far, far east in the east end. Ah, okay. Look at the boat. Ah, oh, you're making me nervous. Why? With your camera like stuck in there, where are you going to drop it? I'm not going to drop it. <laughs> that would be dumb. <laughs> well, as this trip has proved so far, we're dumb. Right. <laughs> See how those apartment buildings are what is called the west end of the downtown peninsula. People just call that neighborhood the west end. Yeah. That is a lot of boats. <laughs> and when you look down there, you certainly don't see something like that walking over the Don River in no. Toronto, no. <laughs> Not even a little bit. <laughs>
Eh, not a lot of traffic really, you know, heading into downtown. It is Friday night, right? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Vancouver has a reputation of being a bit of a sleepy city in terms of nightlife. <laughs> really? Yeah. Not a lot of nightclubs? Yeah, the nightlife scene is not as, you know, strong or varied. As you might find in Toronto or Montreal. That's kind of nice because then you don't get all the douche bros. <laughs> yeah. Not that there isn't any nightlife, of course. Granville Street downtown is well known for its bars and clubs. It gets sort of similar to the vibe on King Street West. Yeah. Yeah. With all the douche bros. Yeah. <laughs> So we're just entering downtown, passed over English Bay. Tall building straight ahead is fairly new. That's one of the most recent additions to the downtown skyline. That yeah. And it's one of the taller buildings downtown now. I think the tallest building downtown is just about 200 meters. Most of them are less than 150 meters though. Only a few buildings are over 150 meters. Oh, here's a neat little shot. Oh, yeah. I noticed that like, the roads are in slightly better condition, like not as many cracks. Right. I guess because they don't get as much like frost and... Ice. Yeah, they don't have the crazy freeze and thaw cycles as much, yeah. you know? I think the Coal Harbor neighborhood is what we're seeing over in this direction.
You're gonna have to pass it. Yeah. And the bicycle infrastructure is very good in Vancouver. Yeah, seriously. Definitely better than in Toronto. Lots of bike lanes and stuff. That's yeah. Cool. And the bike lanes are like, like not directly on the road, so it looks like a lot safer. Yeah. For bike around. Way more protected bike lanes and things. Proper division of cycle traffic from car traffic. Got another hill. <laughs> Getting our exercise in. These places seem to be closed for the evening. It's 10.15 now, yeah. Here's a downtown gas station. Yeah. I wonder how many of those are left here in the downtown peninsula. Probably not too many. Yeah, they seem to be getting rid of those. Yeah. There's a lot of places. There's only eight gas stations left in downtown Toronto. Only eight? Eight, yeah. Which is a bigger area geographically than downtown Vancouver, right, but... Right, right. So there more. Yeah, do you want to just keep walking on this side of the street? Just, just because we didn't last time kind right. of thing? Yeah. Okay. So this is Davy Street.
and we're getting close to the hotel. Hey, that's cool. Oh yeah. Lights of hope. And I think on Granville Street, the nightlife street I was talking about, mm -hmm. they've made a point to keep all the old heritage neon signs on that street. Ah, oh, that's so cool. You know how lots of cities used to have lots of neon signs? Yeah, yeah. But they all disappeared over the years? Well, yeah. Granville Street has retained all their old neon signs. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I saw in downtown Edmonton the other day, there was a neon street sign museum. Oh, nice. And they had all the old neon signs in like one spot. It was pretty cool. Yeah. There was talk of opening up a neon museum in Toronto, too. Oh, I don't know whatever happened to that. They should. Yeah. Yeah, and there's our hotel right over here. Yep. This is a neat old building here. Yeah. It's a hospital. Okay, it's a hospital, yeah. St. Paul's Hospital. All right. See, when you're in a new city, you notice things that might seem mundane to everyone else, but to you, it's like, oh, look at that neat building. Oh, it's yeah. a hospital. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. This is a nice spot here, too. Yeah. The Wall Center. I think this was the tallest building in Vancouver for a little while. One wall center. Yep. That's one wall center, formerly the tallest building in Vancouver. All right, so Megan's going to be heading inside the hotel. So we'll say goodbye to her for now. And I'll continue the walk down Burrard Street. Yep. Sound like the car had a flat tire. And here's another new tall tower. The butterfly. I'm not sure how well that showed up in the dark. That one's under construction. Thank <laughs> you. 
Making our way right into the very heart of downtown. The Sutton Place Hotel. And Toronto used to have a Sutton Place Hotel. It was at Bay and Wellesley Street got bought and turned into a condo. And there's the present tallest building in Vancouver. At least in the downtown in Vancouver City proper. Strangely enough, the tallest buildings in the Vancouver area are in some of the suburbs and not in the downtown core. Burnaby has a skyline consisting of many tall condo towers, many of them taller than what you find in downtown. And this is Robson Street. This is the main shopping street in the downtown core. I'll be doing a video of Robson Street while I'm here. Here's the Fairmont 
Hotel Vancouver. Sort of the grand old downtown hotel, sort of akin to the Royal York Hotel in downtown Toronto. Just not quite as huge and imposing. This is West Georgia Street. It's a little camera. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trippy is so small. Yeah, yeah, it's called the Osmo Pocket. Oh, so it's like gyrates on its own? Yeah, it has a stabilizer oh, built in. So this could be considered the financial district of Vancouver, where most of the major office towers are to be found. Vancouver's skyline is heavily dominated by residential towers, but it does have this solid core of office towers. These predate most of the uh, residential buildings. If you find very old pictures of downtown Vancouver dating from the 1980s, before the condo boom, all these office towers were here before the condos came along. And they were much more visible on the skyline, but now the condos tend to block them out from any angles. We'll just head down to the next intersection and I'll be wrapping up the video. Hope you enjoyed the walk starting from the Kitsilano neighborhood, walking along West 4th Street, where we went eastbound to Burrard Street, and then we went north along Burrard over the Burrard Street Bridge and English Bay here into downtown Vancouver. Almost to the foot of Burrard Street. So leave a comment below if you enjoyed the walk. Let me know your thoughts on Canada's West Coast metropolis. And be sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
And also, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as view my merch store. And there's a super thanks button also located right down below. And you can find me on Instagram under K Continuum. So thanks for watching. And be sure to keep checking back because as always, I will continue. And I will continue to record more content while here in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia.